Hi, my name's Earl Martin with Mystery TV. The other day I had the uh, privilege of talking to a group of teenagers at a high school. And being that it's Christmas time right now, we're in December, I, I wanted to share with them how they could have true joy. So I used the passage of Scripture as 1 John chapter 1, where the Apostle John was uh, very excited to share with people how they could have true joy. And it was from having fellowship with Jesus Christ, which he was able to have personally. He walked with Christ, talked with him, handled him. But he was sharing with us how we could have true joy by knowing Jesus Christ. And we can know him through his word. We find out in the scriptures that Jesus Christ came to save the world from its sin. And this is a truth that we can share today. I happen to have received that truth. I believe Jesus Christ is my Savior. It's called the Gospel. And I want to share the Gospel, the good news, with others. And I think there's plenty of you out there that want to do the same. But how do we do that? The local church is a, is a great way to share the Gospel. Uh, we all, if we're believers, should be a part of a local church. But there are other tools that we can utilize uh, as, as a mission. You know, we send missionaries across the world to share the Gospel in different countries. and. Uh, and there's another tool that I, I would like to see us use today. Uh, maybe some of you use a, a gospel track, you know, a piece of paper that's got the gospel on there, and, and maybe you have a track rack in your church, and, and uh, when you're out and about, uh, and you can't maybe spend a whole lot of time with somebody, you'll hand them a gospel track. Well, I think there's, a, there's something out there that we haven't taken advantage of quite as effectively as I think we should, and that's film and video. Now, I know there's a lot of uh, feature-length films that have been made and are, and are being made now that present biblical truths or, or present the gospel. Um, you've got uh, Facing the Giants and, and uh, Fireproof and Courageous and God is Not Dead and um, uh, the Bible was put out a couple years ago and The Son of God, another feature-length film or, or miniseries. And all these are wonderful tools that do a, a great job presenting biblical truths. Even though even Hollywood has made some biblical films in the past, the problem with many of those is they're they're they stray from the Bible. They're not quite right on. Uh, but even even so, I think they can be used to to uh, op as an open door. Some people might say, "Oh, I saw that movie about Noah." And is that really how that went? And and of course, you can say, "Well, no, they kind of." messed up in some areas, but let me take the Bible and show you what it, what it actually says. So even the world's uh, attempts can be used to glorify God. But what about those of us who have the truth? Wouldn't it be cool to, to do what Jesus Christ did in a film format? What do, what do I mean by that? Well, Jesus Christ was a storyteller. When he would walk around, he would tell what we call parables, using stories to present a biblical truth. And I believe that we could do the same. We've got so many creative people out there that can write great stories that present a biblical truth and then film them in a, in a short film. I have written some uh, screenplays myself. I would love to be able to prove someday. Uh, haven't been able to do that yet because it costs money to do so. But uh, not only do I want to do that, I would like to encourage other storytellers to get these put into film format and short films that could be put on the internet for free that could be seen all across the world. Mystery TV is an acronym. It stands for Moral, Responsible, and Evangelical Media. And uh, we have a website. It's mre.tv. I would love for that website to be kind of a hub. You know, you, you may have heard of Hulu before. Hulu is kind of a hub for uh, media, for uh, show, television shows and, and movies um, that you can go to and, and watch after they've been on television at their normal night. You can watch them later on. I would like to see Mystery TV as a place that we could point people to that has gospel media on there, biblical media, contemporary parables. I actually have two different types of, of uh, films that I would like to see made. One we call flashlight flicks. Flashlight flicks would be short films that present the gospel. Another one's called tip clips. Tip clips would be short films that present a biblical truth that edifies the believer. I want your help. Um, it costs money to do stuff like this, but we are a nonprofit organization. And, and some of you might have a drive to see people come to Christ. 
uh, you want to get the gospel out there. Did you know that the average person is spending 8 to 13 hours a day consuming entertainment media? Wouldn't it be cool to be able to, to write stories that are entertaining? It would be considered entertainment media, but it actually teaches a biblical truth. You know, the world's been teaching us how to walk and talk and dress for over 100 years with secular films. Why not use this powerful tool to present the Bible? There's nothing wrong with that. But I do need your help. I'm asking for your help. So if you would like to support our effort, uh, I'm going to put my phone number down here as well as my email address. Uh, we are a legit nonprofit organization. We have a board that holds me accountable to make sure I do what, I want, what I'm saying I'm doing. Uh, I can tell you I'm passionate about this. I've, I've had the privilege of being in ministry for over 25 years, mostly with youth. And, uh, and now I just want to see uh, us work together to reach the world with the gospel. Thanks for your time. Get a hold of me, please. And uh, Merry Christmas.